I think you could argue that Sue is the most well-known dinosaur, maybe the best-known fossil in the world. We refer to Sue as her because her name is Sue, but we do not know what gender she is. She is the biggest T-Rex, but more importantly, the most complete T-Rex. She's sort of the Rosetta Stone for her species. Uh, today we're starting to deinstall Sue so she can move up to her new, uh, exhibit her new home up in the balcony. She's 40 feet long, she's about 12 feet tall. Sue is the most complete T-Rex, and that's largely, we think, due to the fact that she was buried quickly. Much of Sue's skeleton was found articulated, the way it would be in life. Um, so we think that she died not too far from a river, maybe during the spring floods, and her carcass was buried quickly by the spring flooding, which is a natural event, um, and that's why she's so complete. There's, there's a lot more that we're going to be adding to Sue, like there are bones in her rib cage that were not installed originally, that we now have the science to in install properly. Uh, we're going to be changing her pose. Uh, this is all based on, on, on science uh, somewhat, with how her hips and uh, the relationship between her hips and her knees and the rib cage her arms will move, her whole uh, profile will, will change because of the adding, adding bones. The feet are coming off so that the landform can be taken off, which gives us access to the, you know, getting the gantries and the big structures closer to the main line of the body, which makes it easier to deal with the rest of the skeleton. The legs will come off at some point. They're not really weight-bearing. And then what we're left with is this big mass of hip bones, which is about 1,000 pounds, and that's the last thing that'll come down.